I am very excited about the new Captain America Black Panther 1945, 1947. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm already forgetting. But I'm very excited about the new game. It is looking to be very, very uh, potential worthy, let's say that. And having a lot of potential is great in my book, but we need to see how it pans out. And seeing another Marvel game come out after the success of all three Spider-Man games is very exciting to see. Uh, I love Black Panther, and oh, I love Captain America too. So seeing both of these characters that I very much love and love their whole thing be in a game together and also set in a time where both of them will really pull out a lot of hopefully uh, good, like mind pondering and like mind churning questions especially during such a uh, tumultuous time especially for a guy that you know is all about america and everything like that and one of the best parts about captain america is the fact that he questions everything about that country that he is from the whole title that he holds is for the most part not even really symbolic it's just a label and there have been many times in the past where he has resented that label and wants nothing more than the potential uh, the the country that he comes from to hold be fully brought out instead of it just being terrible. And again and again and again, uh, everything that he's gone for from the uh, life story story where with Spider-Man, where he literally fights on the side of the Viet Cong in Vietnam to the entire 70s where he was actively uh rooting for cuba and everything that was going on there and talking about how we already um all the stuff that was going on in that time and then everything that was going on with uh there's there's a few other other uh examples that if anyone is wondering i'll i'll mention down in the comments but then also t'challa who well not t'challa is it t'chaka no, it's before even T'Chaka, it's his grandfather, uh, who is played by the wonderful and amazing uh, Carrie Payton, right? Is that? Yeah, Carrie Payton. I had to, I have a thing up here, but I love Carrie Payton because he has played a lot of my favorite characters. He's played Cyborg in the OG uh, Teen Titan series. He played King Ezekiel in The Walking Dead, one of the best characters in The Walking Dead, who made it to the end. Spoilers, but... It's been a while. And then he also played Asriel in the Arkham series. Three characters that I absolutely love. And now to see him play Black Panther is fantastic. I can already tell that there's going to be a lot of tension between the two. And there will be a lot of stories. And I can already see like where they might be going of talking about that pol like that politics uh, behind the fact that his shield is made of vibranium. And it was stolen vibranium. And that in of itself is symbolic of a lot of things that happen in the real world of stolen things to be used by a false holder and other things like that. And I really want to, I hope that the games don't fumble on that game. Uh, but yeah, he looks amazing in the costume because he's looked completely mo-capped, uh, rather hand animated or mo-capped, but his face in the Black Panther suit looks awesome and i really do like cap's suit too it's very uh first avengers-esque and i think the first avengers suit is one of the best it is just enough realistic while also being a a bit tad comic book aesthetic to not be too goofy or too hyper real um we really got the perfect version of that with endgame in the mcu but i have my problems with the uh captain america's the mcu portrayal of uh the MCU that I've already, I think I talked about on Twitter or some shit, but yeah, I'm very, very excited, especially going through places like bombed England and Paris and, uh, maybe even going so far as to maybe infiltrate Japan or seeing what was going on in the al other allied places like, uh, Russia during the time or maybe even infiltrating into some place like Italy or Germany which would make sense because Black Panther is a very large stealth-based character. He is based off of a panther, for goodness sake. So that'll be very cool. I think that'll be a very good dynamic between the two. Like, you're basically playing Arkham 
with Black Panther, but then you're playing kind of more Spider-Man-esque, uh, very loud and abrasive with um, with Captain America. There is one thing that I really wonder if they'll do is, we saw it in the first adventure, and that was Cap with a gun. Um, I wonder if they'll do something with that. And I don't like Captain America with a gun, because this whole thing is supposed to be a shield, and the shield is both defensive and offensive. Um, so giving him a gun is a bit of a cop-out, especially when the fact that he can just dodge bullets anyway. Um, also, three super soldiers. I wonder who that is. Are they potentially talking about the fake Captain America? Fake Captain America that was around? But that was after he went into the ice during the 60s. So I doubt that. Um, it wouldn't be Bucky. Um, I'm trying to think of the other, like, super soldiers. Black Widow wouldn't be around unless they want to do something like having like a previous widow which there are many previous widows um I'm trying to really think who it could be um i don't want to just leave a bunch of silence here while i think <laughs> but i i can't really think of anyone that fits specifically super soldier specifically super soldier um or super serum or super individual superhuman um and obviously there's black panther and then captain america there's a few others out there, but other than those two, I can't really think of who would fit the time period of 1945 and World War II. 1935. Whatever the title is, it will be in the title uh, here. But yeah, other than that, uh, I can't wait for a gameplay reveal. I can't wait for a full like breakdown. I hope they do like an Arkham thing where they kind of really show um, live gameplay that's scripted, but you know, actually show what it's about because i've been waiting for another captain america game and i've been waiting for a black panther game for a very long time uh, my only gripe that i am holding is i do not want them to make either captain america or black panther really into a gadget wielding character that was one of my gripes with ps4 and it was it was passable and allowable permissible whatever um with uh, with Spider-Man, where he's a genius and so on, but Captain America is not a gadget guy, and Black Panther really isn't either. He has gadgets, but he's much more in your face, relying on his suit and his strength than anything. So, hopefully, um, it won't turn into just a bunch of gadget fest and beat him up, and we will get a lot of cool additions to the suits and other things like that. But yeah, other than that, that's all I have to say. If you want to leave any comments down below, you know what to do. And leave a like, subscribe. I got other ways to support me down in the comments or down in the description. Uh, there is no incentive. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Click!